needs Lisandro Martinez when you can get the Premier League experience of Alexandra Zin? Chenko, definitely not us. So let's take a look at the reports from early on today until now. We will start with Fabrizio Romano, who tweeted early on today, Manchester City internal decision, Zinchenko can leave the club. Arsenal are prepared to submit an official proposal. So that was early on today. Um, he said Zinchenko would probably leave the club. He's expected to leave the club or the team as the cars um, actually let him go because they are keeping Nathan Ake now, who can also play as a left-back for Manchester City. He was about to join Chelsea, but they did not agree in terms of fee. But that was the tweet from early on today. And then right after that, Sam tweeted that Arsenal have had a long-standing interest in Zinchenko, and this move is now progressing. Exact fee to be confirmed and expected to be more than 30 million. So that is a surprise one because at the beginning of the transfer window, we were told that Arsenal wanted Zinchenko, but uh, Zinchenko and Aaron Hickey at the same time. But that went quiet, and then we started hearing about the likes of Lisandro Martinez and other left backs, um, like Grimaldo. And then all of a sudden, after United got um, Lisandro Martinez, we are back for Zinchenko, which I would definitely prefer because he's Premier League experience and he can play as a midfielder as well. Basically, the same as Lisandro Martinez, but he comes in with Premier League experience. And as I said, anyone who's coming from Manchester City, they have that winning mentality. Those guys have won so much. Those guys have won Premier League titles, the 100 points, 99 points, FA Cups, um, Carling Cups. Those guys are pretty good. So anyone who's coming from that environment is coming with a good attitude and a good um, presence. So I definitely take him 100%. But as Sam says in this article or this tweet, 30 million, more than 30 million. I was expecting maybe 25 to 28 million, but it's looking like 30 million is what will do the job now remember jesus was valued at 50 million but we ended up paying around um 45 for him so this guy is um rated at around 35 million we might end up paying 30 million for him maybe plus add-ons or just 30 million you never know so either way it's still very exciting to get two players from man city who would have thought getting two players from man city in the same transfer window definitely not me and then finally um recently um, just a couple of minutes ago um, James from the Telegraph said, Arsenal closing in on a 35 million move for Zinchenko, but Ake staying put at Manchester City after Chelsea failed to match the 50 million valuation. And then he goes on to talk about Mares and Rodri all signing new contracts at Man City. So Guardiola definitely knows what he wants. Um, he's getting, uh, City usually don't get rid of that many players. This is the first time I'm seeing City get rid of 35 players. Stefan, the goalkeeper, is leaving. Sterling has left for Chelsea. Jesus to Arsenal. Bernardo Silva could end up going. And then now Zinchenko to Arsenal. So very exciting. 35 million sounds a lot, but if Chelsea were going to pay 50 million for Nathan Ake, someone who never even plays a game for Man City, that shows you the caliber that City are dealing with. Like if you look at that City team, Anderson, probably 70 million. Cancelo, probably 90. Walker, maybe 40 or something. Diaz, another 60 or something. De Bruyne, maybe 200 million. Um, People like Mares, 70, 80 million, like those guys, have, they have that, they've been drilled with that winning mentality. They've reached Champions League finals and semi finals. And as Inchenko is coming in with that experience as well from Manchester City, and uh, he's also, he also captains his country, Ukraine. So that is another factor. We are adding more leadership into the team. Now, he's not as young as most of our players, like 19, 20, like he's all, way older than them. He's, he's heading into his prime now, which is a really good, he's a regular for his country. He's played for Man City for like four or five years. So what can go wrong? What can possibly go wrong? This player can play as a left back. He can play either side of Thomas Partey, like the Xhaka role. He can help us in different situations. Maybe if you're playing against a tougher team and you need a, a more defenders on the pitch, this could be the guy for us. But what I'm really excited about is him bringing in that winning mentality. Like maybe it could work. City have won a lot of titles. So buy five or six players from there. Surely you're going to win titles as well. Let's see if it works. Gabriel Jesus is already in and Zinchenko could be on his way very soon. I think he will be an Arsenal player in the next um, five days. I think this is moving so fast. And a lot of um, reporters have reported about him. So that is why I'm expecting this to be done very, very soon. So let me know what you think about this deal. Does it excite you? Are you happy with Zinchenko? Would you have gotten someone else? Let me know. Thank you for watching. Catch up with you guys on the next one.